It's about the insecurity in Boko. But in the meantime, uh, we know that you're getting ready to get out of the house or your home. Please make sure you join us. But now the Speaker of Parliament is ready with his own views about the current LGBTQ plus bill before Parliament. The President, there is no way he can intervene. That answer he gave. That is now before Parliament. And when he gets to a stage that he has to, he will come in. Hey, please. This is legislation. This is not execution. It is the strongest indication he has given to ensure the bill expected to criminalize some of the activities of homosexuals in Ghana is seen through. Let's get this clear. Once this bill is before here, he is not in charge. I am in charge. Yeah. I hope the U.S. Vice President is not here gone. <laughs> but she will read from me. Well, she's gone. And so, um, so far, we would also be having um, a conversation about the uh, decriminalization of suicide. We have uh, a bill that has now been passed into law. So we'll be having uh, Dr. Isaac Newman Arthur, medical director and clinical psychologist, a PR of the Ghana Psychological Association. He's also the acting director of the University of uh, Professional Studies Medical Director. Great guy. Uh, we'll be having him. But please, the first caller, where are you calling us from? I'm going from the Volta region, bro. Okay, which part of the Volta region? Very big. We have Akachi, Kata, we have Ho. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um, the commentary that this hair visit has generated on LGBTQ, what do you make of it? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy about that comment, and uh, we shouldn't allow that to happen. Our culture does not like, uh, does not like that to happen, man to man, and woman to man, our culture does not that does not allow. Okay, so p stop listening to yourself. No. Turn down the volume of your. No. Of, of, we, we should be very. We should be very careful. We should be very careful. And we should not think that because of the money, we should accept that. Okay, I think. So, so, so this is the rule. When you want to call, if your television set is on, you have to turn the volume down. So you mute it so that we can interact on the phone. It makes it easier for all of us to interact. The Vice President um, of the United States of America is now in Tanzania. But a key issue, uh, particularly that was raised during the trip, apart from helping us with the um, the current issues we're having with the economy, getting the board approval, etc. Uh, you will know that the subject of LGBTQ, and particularly, uh, will bring back that inset of hairs as well. The the position of the president or the reaction of the president when um, she raised the issue as well that the rights need to be respected of individuals who want to have a sexual orientation of their choice. We have a caller from Juja. Please watch your name. I'm Salom. Salom. Salom, good yeah. morning to you. Good morning, Roland. I hope you're fine. Charlie Ade. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you've been monitoring the commentary, the public opinion as well. Um, yeah. What's your own view on the subject? Pardon? Hello? Please go ahead. Okay, I, I just want to say that uh, our culture and our belief systems mm. do not allow uh, human beings of the same sex to get married. So I think there is no need for us to be having this kind of conversation in Ghana. It's not the things we should be uh, using our energies on at this time. We should be talking about bread and butter issues now, not man and woman getting married and sorry, man and man getting married or woman and woman getting married. Mm. So I think we should talk about issues that concern the. The, 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 the Ghanaian now, we are talking about, should be talking about bread and butter. Mm. So this is taking our time at this time, yeah. That's my, my opinion. Okay, but what, what do you make of, you know, the issues she raised about us giving the rights to individuals to make uh, their own sexual orientation a matter of their choice? I can hardly hear you because my... All right. Hello. So we have to we have to call it a morning. Thank you for calling as well. Please, the numbers are on your screen. But again, alongside we we need to promote this. We're having as part of Climaxing Ghana Month a trip 
from Shire Hills to Amajopa. So we call it the Amajopa Shire Expedition. So we'll start uh, right here from the Greater Accra region, make entry through the Eastern region, and then uh, into the Volta region. It's all of us getting to know each other on that fun trip an educative trip as well. We'll get to know what we have by way of uh, not only our cultural heritage, but also all the related issues that we need to have. Good morning to you. Good morning, Roland. How are you? I'm, I'm well. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Yeah, I'm calling from Accra, New Town. Oh, oh, fine. I don't go to my home. Charlie, oh, yeah, me feel, feel. Oh, fine. Oh, fine. What, what, what's your own view on the subject? Um, to me, I don't see, I don't blame the U.S. vice president. I blame our president. We have a president who, when he's in Ghana or when he's in front of his own people, mm -hmm. he says a different thing. When he's in front of the international community, he says a different thing. Mm -hmm. This is a president who doesn't even know his sons. Well, yesterday I was not watching um, effort on the... Um, the Ghana tonight. Side. Program. Yes. And she was like 2001, he stood in front of a congregation, a church, and told her that he, that would never happen under his watch, under his presidency. Mm -hmm. And then here you are, you are in front of a U.S. vice president, and you are saying a different thing. You don't even know what you are saying. And this is a president we can't even trust. It just stand back, just say a simple thing. We don't. You can't say it. Then how can we trust you? Okay. When you are in front of your citizens, you see a different thing. When you are in front of the, the international community, you see a different thing. What were you expecting the president's reaction to be beyond what, she, what he said? Our laws does not permit it, and we will not accept it in our country. Simple. Hey. Nobody is putting a gun on your head. You told us that you are coming to change Ghana. You are coming to make a Ghana not to depend on aid, not to depend on any form. So why are you scared to say it? If you believe in your principle that you want to make Ghana a place like we have in our own stuff, we don't beg, like Atamil said, we will not take any aid that comes with conditions. So okay. why is it that can, he cannot also say the same? Right. When Atamil said it, did Ghana, did Ghana go into flames? Did we lose something? No. So why is it that it's very so funny and difficult to say it? But, but you know the difficulties we're currently in with the economy and the assistance that we need, etc. The, the, the U.S. would be a big it, player. It was it the international community that inflated the cost, the problems we are in today onto us? No, we caused it ourselves. Please relax, relax. Don't, don't, don't go there, it's okay. The way you, 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 you've <laughs> started this one. Over there, back to you. Oh, you ladong. Okay, so that was a caller from um, Accra Newton right here. Please. The, the lines are open, but we also uh, have to um, apprise you of the latest from Parliament. We will be joined by Komla Klucha, who will be telling us um, the processes of the bill. But it's um, um, the passage of a law or an act, so to speak, that um, decriminalizes suicide. Okay, so um, already you could be charged for attempted suicide, but... Uh, you can also be charged for abetting. But what it also means is if you commit suicide and you're dead, <laughs> you're dead, you know. But if you are attempted, mm, you, you attempted, so you survived, or et cetera, why, sh why should you be prosecuted? And so we have this uh, bill now, Act now, which has now been passed. Of course, if we have the president accented to it, it will fulfill, fulfill a lot of aspirations of many people. Uh, we have Patrick. Patrick, good morning to you. Good morning, sir. Yes, yes, please. Yes. You, you've been monitoring the, yeah. the commentary on, yes. on LGBTQ. Please give us your views, Patrick. Yes, my comment is, if I don't know what you are to do, mm -hmm. we should have is God who is taking care of us. Uh, if please. you want to depend on the international donors, then we will do. Mm. You think it yes, is God yes, who is yes, taking care of us? Hello? You think it is God who is taking care of us? Yes. But, but, but Mr. Patrick, um, you know yes. that as a country, we don't live in isolation. We live with other yes. countries. The United yes. States of America, the United Kingdom, yes. the rest of Europe, and the developed West, who have yes. accepted LGBTQ+, etc., 
are yes. some of our big multilateral partners. They give us a lot yes. of aid. Yes. So how can we look them in the face and say no? Oh, you see, before our former president, I cannot let me know. So no, uh, uh, we are still alive. Mm. So why not should we continue uh, with those, uh, the, 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 the tradition? No, it will not help us. Please, it will not help us. Please, our community will not accept it. So it's not, the president will not uh, in any way accept their, 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 their uh, demands. No, if they can't help us, no, let's never forget about them and move on and hope on God. So, so what, 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 what are you expecting? You expect Parliament to pass um, the current, no. the current bill that as it is. Honourable God, we should stand on his feet. We should not accept it. We should not pass that bill. <laughs> Patrick, you're very passionate. Animated this yes. morning. We are ready to to, to support uh, Biden to to the chairman. Hey. Thank yes, you. we are we are ready to, oh. uh, to to support you. All right. Thank you very much. Quite, a, quite an interesting view that Patrick has, and Patrick uh, given us a call. But um, we have a law that has been passed that is now decriminalizing suicide. So it means that um, you won't be charged now for attempted suicide. But logically, it will mean that you would need some um, psychological help. We'll be speaking to Dr. Isaac Newman Arthur, he, being an acting director of the University of Professional Studies, UPSA Accra Medical Center, or directorate, and then also the PRO for the Ghana Psychological Association, and then a clinical psychologist and medical doctor in his own right. But we'll be doing that after we come back from this break. Stay with us.